Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have a very cool reading. We do, and uh, mm -hmm. and we have this card. The Devil starts the reading, Capricorn. Now this is the Gnome's Devil, right? He's you know in that deck, and uh, you know he's pretty ugly. Of course he is, right? And he's got his whip here. This talks about deception in this deck. Yeah, so somebody here, uh, maybe they lied to you, but I feel like whoever is, it looks like somebody's coming to you, and in this reading, they're dealing with somebody who's lying to them, possibly, about money, possibly. We have savings here, uh, and, you know, here's this uh, kind of, maybe he's a king, I'm not, maybe not, but, you know, he's putting this money in this little kind of, he's trying to save his money. And, you know, somebody could be lying to somebody about money and because of love. But, you know, this is the page of cups. But this love really uh, is for you. Yeah, it is. And so that's what I mean about maybe somebody else is keeping somebody else's money. Maybe uh, somebody's been lying. Maybe your person's been lying to somebody about about money and saving it to be with you. It could be kind of like that. It really could be. But... Uh, and so we have Libra, and this is consideration, fairness, and harmony. And so this is Libra energy, right? And they're showing the scales. That's why a lot of Libras are judges. Sometimes they're arbitrators and mediators. But it is really about fairness. I know my sister's like that. She goes, I know it's not your fault, but, you know, just be the bigger person, right? And I'm like, well, that person was, you know, a real skunk. She's, you know, she just tried to keep the peace, right? And here we have Chiron, and this is hurt and heal. Chiron is a small, it's like a meteorite or a satellite maybe, but uh, it's a tiny kind of, not even really a planet, but this is about your health, Chiron. So this person, it looks like they're healing and they are coming to you to bring you, to be fair with you. And to create balance in their own life. I feel like somebody misses you, Sagittarius. We have ambition, realism, and methodical steps. And so they've been taking steps here. Here's the hourglass, right? Should be called, you know, the day clock or whatever. But, uh, you know, but here's the ambition here. Here's the heart. And the flowers are growing out of it. This person's been taking steps to move for, forward towards you and I feel like they're they could be maybe they are hurting and healing right now uh because maybe they're you know ending a relationship over here it looks like somebody's trying to keep their money or something like that and then we have over here uh we have the disciple and the master and you know here he is uh the disciple is sitting down the student and he's washing these cups uh and over here is the teacher the master and He's, you know, he's learning here. He's like an apprentice. This person has learned. That's the point about this reading. And they might have had to suffer because here is the false halo. I feel like they did because of the Chiron, the hurting and the healing card. And so, you know, this is the witch and the angel both. Now, the witch holds the tree of life. Maybe she was, you know, a good witch, possibly. Mm, it's really interesting. She looks like she's holding it. And then, uh, you know, the angel to the right is holding the light there. This can talk about healing. It definitely can. It can talk about coming from dark energy into the light. It can talk about realizing here, uh, that you were somebody here was, you know, kind of in a really low vibration, right? Kind of in darkness, sort of. Mm -hmm. And it can talk about, uh, an awakening, right? Uh, and seeing the light about your life. And I feel like this person has with this card next to it. They have learned here. Yeah, they went to the school of hard knocks, most likely, right? And here is the sacrifice card, and this is a cult. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, and there's plenty of cults, you guys. Yeah, they're just not, they don't all dress like this. In fact, a lot of them wear suits and ties, all right? <laughs> and so, yeah, we're not here to talk about that, though. We're not. And so, you know, here is uh, the sacrifice card. They're over here at this temple and they're all bald headed and, you know, and, you know, and then the guy has long hair here, like the leader of the cult. In other words, they're the ones who are sacrificing their lifestyle, right? And, you know, he's probably like, they're probably having twigs and leaves or something. And the guy goes in the back and, you know, he goes, did you make me that ribeye steak? That's what this is about. 
but your person here, maybe they had their religious beliefs or, and when I say religious, we're not talking about any particular church. No, we're not. Uh, I mean, it could be about that, but it's really about kind of the way you grew up and what you learned in your life and kind of belief systems. This person has changed the way they believe, <coughs> but I feel like uh, with this learning, they had to sacrifice something. And I also feel like they are willing to sacrifice something for you, Sagittarius. It could be an ending over here with this kind of devil and somebody maybe trying to hold on to their money because the Libra card is here, consideration, fairness, and harmony. So they are willing to sacrifice anything to have this with you. And I know this to be true, Sagittarius, because I got my third eye. It's gleaming today, right? Mm -hmm, it is. I've been doing eye exercises <laughs> and I uh, have, right? And so we have laughter, renewal, and we have the bountiful harvest. And this is renewal of peace. <coughs> this person here has learned that they want to be with you here because the laughter is with you, the fun, the joy. They have these two horses here and, you know, the fairies, like a little fairy angel. There's two of them and they're together and they're having fun right? And, you know, and over here, the renewal of peace. And this is renewal of peace in the enchanted garden or the enchanted forest rather. And the baby fairy sleeps very, you know, tenderly here or very sweetly. And here are all the animals like protecting him here. This renewal of peace with you, Sagittarius, they're bringing you a peace offering. They are, right? Uh, right. And they are. And, you know, this renewal of peace is like, this is supporting this person. Like this is why they're, they're willing to sacrifice something. And here, why it's all happening is the bountiful harvest. And this person thinks you are their bountiful harvest. They do. They can't wait, Sagittarius. So let's look at, uh, let's see. Let's see what this is about here. Uh, and then let's see what we have, Sagittarius. Yeah, this is a trip. This is, looks like it's a trip down memory lane, but... Uh, but this person wants, they want to be with you. They sure do. And let's put this card over here. Mm -hmm. And this is challenging them, the renewal of peace, because they look like they want to make up with you. And you guys ended in a fight. That's how it looks here, right? Maybe you were trying to keep their money over here, Sagittarius. He looks kind of like, I'm keeping this money. Somebody could be saving their money and lying to them. Or maybe your person's lying, but your person's leaving something. And they, unless they're reading a switch and it's you. And there's a major sacrifice here with that culty card. Yes, there is. And here they are being humble as the student. Right? He's like, okay, I'll wear this kind of single strap outfit. Right? And I'll wash these little cups here uh, just to learn. <laughs> and then, you know, the temple's in the back. And the master is here looking at him like, well... Uh, looking kind of at him like it's good you're being humble because you needed to learn. It's basically like that. And let's see, the bottom of the deck is the emperor. And the three of cups and the ten of cups. This person is taking action to reconcile with you because you are their happily ever after, Sagittarius. Show is the show, right? Let's see what we got. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and diss the, diss the slang, right? Just do it for fun, right? <laughs> I like to do that sometimes. Just, I like slang sometimes, but I don't like it when people use it all the time. No, I just, I'm like, what? You know what I mean? Let's see what we got, you guys. I like slang because it's funny and it's fun, right? But I don't like to use it like some people use it all the time. My cousin used to use it all the time. I go, what are you talking about, Right? It's so, I go, God, you sound like you just stepped out of the hood, the hoodie hood, right? And, you know, let's see what we have, Sagittarius, and, uh, yeah, the hoodie hood, let's see. And uh, the Page of Wands is showing up here, Sagittarius. We have the sun and the world. This is really nice. Three of Wands. This is on your mind. You're thinking about the future with this person, and you're like, set sail with me. Mm-hmm. Misty lady or sexy man. Something like that here. Let's see what else we have. We have the death card, the judgment card, the tower, the empress, the sun, and the world. 
So we have seven cards here that are major arcana. And here's the emperor over here. Whoa. King of Cups. So Sagittarius, you have the Six of Pentacles to start the reading. This is the fairness that this person wants to bring you. The Sun card is here. This might be their reading. Like they have the utmost clarity here that this Six of Pentacles, that they want justice with you, like balance and fairness. They know they weren't fair before. Maybe that's what this Deceit card is about. You know, this uh, False Halo can talk about guilt sometimes. It can. Sorry, I was, you know, kind of such a witch, and, you know, now I'm an angel. Kind of, it, could be, it can be sometimes, uh, depending on the read. The sun card is influencing your energy, Sagittarius. So, you know, this could be supporting you or challenging you. This supports you. This person has major clarity that you are there happily ever after. I'm pretty sure here. They're coming to restore this. Yeah. You might have to throw them a life jacket, Sagittarius. Help, Sagittarius, I'm drowning. I love you. I'm drowning in the sea of love. That's how it looks here. <laughs> and so the world card shows up in your environment. I'm not your environment, why it's all happening. And this world card is ending a cycle to begin a new cycle. It's also a major maturity and somebody, somebody has come full circle in their life. Like they learned. I mean, coming full circle, you know, it usually means that you have kind of, you know, rose to the occasion, right? And with that rising, you have grown and this can be a major wish fulfillment here, right? And they're ready. They're already naked. She's totally naked. She's bare breasted. She is. She looks happy. Mm -hmm. She wants to get down to business, right? And so Sagittarius, you are this person's world. In the past is the page of wands. I feel like this person already set out on a set out on a uh, path, like a change in direction. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now, if it wasn't physically, it definitely was emotionally. Maybe they're saving their money over here with the savings card, right? What's on your mind is the three of wands. This is your future. You're looking at these boats. Are they on the ship? Are they coming in? Yeah, it's basically what's going on. In the near future, we have the empress. And that's you here, Sagittarius, with the Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. There's, I feel like they're confused about you. Because they don't know if they're going to renew the peace between you guys. Yeah, this is definitely a peace offering. Yeah, they want to come smoke the peace pipe with you, Sagittarius. Right? I'm sure it was uh, cannabis, right? I'm sure it was. Marijuana, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah see what we have and in the near future we have the page of swords i feel like this is this person yeah wondering here about you feeling kind of confused about you daydreaming about you too yeah they don't know if they can renew the peace the towers in their uh in their concern your concern this is still your reading officially right? Some of this could be yours, some theirs, but uh, the story remains the same. The names were changed uh, to protect the people in charge, right? I'm just kidding, you guys. See, we got... <laughs> That's not about this reading. No, it's not. Let's see what we have, you guys, and we're not going to... Yeah, let's keep going here. In your concern, the tower and the eight of cups, Sagittarius. And so in your concern here, I feel like you want to know if this person is walking away from somebody. Eight of Cups, the tower. You could be wondering if their relationship has exploded or kind of blown up or uh, kind of exploded into pieces and fallen to the ground. Because you don't look like you're walking away from anybody in this reading. Uh, no, you don't. Unless you're the one who wants to go be with somebody and maybe sacrifice something else. But this sacrifice is really interesting. It's the sacrifice that I'm sacrificing my future for my future and I'm sacrificing something in the past. Like, I don't want this anymore. There's something that looks like your person doesn't want mm -hmm. with the devil showing up as the first card and in your concern. Yeah. You could be shook up here. If this person will walk away from somebody for some, you could in your environment is judgment and it's underneath the world. These are the two last cards 
in the major arcana, you're going to have a rebirth with this person. And they're going to come calling, declaring their love with this judgment card. Yeah, they're going to come calling, like in the south, right? You know, mm -hmm, when the Hatfields and the McCoys were, I don't know, fighting and maybe dating each other. Who knows, right? Let's see what we have. We have the star card. And the star card is in your environment with this judgment card. This is a brand new beginning, hope and faith and inspiration. This looks like, this looks like that song, uh, We've Only Just Begun. Why? Right, white lace and promises. Yeah, we start out walking and learn to run. Page of cups in your environment. Here they come. I told you they want to talk to you. <laughs> Don't be a Hatfield, Capricorn. I mean, Sagittarius, if they're a McCoy. Don't be a McCoy if they're a Hatfield. All right, don't do that. All right. <laughs> the death card is what you're hoping for. You're hoping for a transformation. You could be hoping for a real death of another relationship. In your outcome is the King of Cups. And you have the seven, the five of Pentacles reversed. This is you letting this person in. I'm pretty sure. Wow. This is, this is, this is whoever. You could be letting them in because they have their independence. Yeah, here's the Nine of Pentacles. You could be hoping here that that's going to happen. It's next to the hopes but and desires. But this, it, I feel like it is, right? So let's look at their, uh, their, their tarot and their oracle spread. We'll start their tarot spread right here and their oracle spread. Yes, we will. And then uh, we'll end the reading and we will complete both of those. In the other reading, we will, and their first card is laughter, and what's challenging them and supporting them both is the renewal of peace. They don't know if you're going to make up with them or if they can renew the peace with you. Uh, it's supporting them because it will bring them laughter and a bountiful harvest right here. For sure, Sagittarius. Let's start their, uh, let's start their, uh, I'm sorry, you guys, their tarot spread. Let's see what it says. And we will complete it in the other reading. Show me their current or their overall energy, please. Show me their overall energy. For Sagittarius, this person, please. It is the Four of Swords. And I have flipped these, so here it is. And here they are dreaming all about you, Sagittarius. Yes, they are. The butterflies are there, uh, you know, coming into the church window, crossing them is the seven of pentacles they are determined here and the seven of pentacles is a sign of i don't know what i'm going to reap right he's in front of his bush trying to reap the harvest here they don't know here and that's clear here uh because here's the renewal of peace above it they don't know if they can renew this and why it's all happening is the two of pentacles they're trying to bring balance here but why it's all happening here is this will bring them balance in their life but they're not sure if this is going to happen. Definitely here. They're coming to talk to you. So we're going to end this. They're all super affordable. I have the link below in the description box. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.